Good morning everyone, how are you today? Okay, so today we will continue our lesson. Today we will talk about Cavendish experiment. What is Cavendish experiment? So the physicist Cavendish in 1798, he did an experiment in order to find the value for the universal constant. What is the universal constant? So it is the G, the, the, the uppercase G. You remember in the equation of universal uh, gravitation, uh, gravitational force fg it's equal to g which is a constant number times the mass of the first object times the mass of the second object divided by the distances uh, between them squared so i told you this g it's a universal constant we'll talk about it later okay so today we will talk about it so this g it's equal always to 6.673 times 10 to the power of negative 11 who found this number or this value? Cavendish. So today I will describe for you the experiment conducted by Cavendish. So pay attention with me. What he did, he just goes, um, brought a uh, mass or sorry, uh, a rod, okay? And he attached two masses, two very small masses to this rod, okay? And this rod, uh, uh, it's suspended girls um, to a thread here okay uh, uh, this thread on which we have a mirror attached okay so what we have we have here a thread and here there is a mirror attached to it and here we have the road with two small masses okay so one masses m1 on a move mov uh, movable road are attracted to stationary masses m2 so see girls he brought also two very large masses near these small masses okay so this and this are very big masses as compared to these masses so according to what we learned we said that every object attracts other object okay so this is a newton's law of universal gravitation so since this one is very very small and this one is very very large uh, uh, this mass will get attracted to this so the road all of it will what will rotate because this mass will go a little to here and this mass will go will move a little to here okay so see the road where what well, it was it was here okay so that this is the initial position of the road after bringing these large masses beside the small masses the road what rotates the small masses get attracted to these large masses because of newton's law of universal gravitation okay so we have here a rotation for this road so for sure when this road rotates so this thread also will rotate okay this thread also will rotate okay so here and there is a mirror attached to it and here we are using a, a laser which is sending a beam of light to this mirror okay what is the uh, the, the uh, like uh, the benefit from this laser girls here we use it only to seal angle okay because you know when we send light it reflects back we can null angle type when this mirror changes direction by rotation the mirror is attached to this thread and i told you when this road rotates the thread will rotate with it because they are attached to each other this thread okay is attached to this road is support uh, it, it is what's supporting this road so see to rotation of the road twist the supporting shaft or here is the thread and it's attached mirror okay so the laser here the role of the laser is just to measure the angle okay so this angle of rotation when it's measured it's sufficient girls to uh, uh, let us find gravitational force how you are not responsible now to know how because still you have uh, something miss missing you and you have to learn about other concepts in order to understand how okay so um so girls by just using or uh, this laser by just finding the angle i will for example uh, 
write this angle as theta okay so by just finding the angle of twist or an angle of rotation of this road it's enough to find the gravitational force okay so what is the gravitational force gravitational force it is g m1 m2 over distance squared okay so the gravitational force the gra the what is the gravitational force girls here it is the attraction between these two the gravitational force uh, exerted between these two masses okay so this one is found when the angle is found okay angle of rotation okay and the mass m1 we can find it for sure by measuring small mass and by measuring the big mass we can know it and the distance between them also uh, the initial distance so uh, we we have it like this we have all the uh, the the quantities so we can find what g so this what cavendish did so because g it's very very small number um we can't girls like find it in another way this is the only way to find g okay so again the mass the small masses get attracted to the large masses okay are attracted to the stationary large masses uh, the road so rotates rotation of road twist the supporting shaft this is the supporting shaft and it's attached mirror three a laser beam reflected from the mirror what will happen for this laser beam so there was a laser laser beam here okay because the mirror turns this laser beam will also turn okay and here we have a scale okay uh, uh, that helps us to know this deflection what means deflection and it changed that occurred okay for the laser beam so a laser beam reflected from the mirror deflects showing how much the road has rotated and hence how strongly the masses are attracted okay so uh, 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 these are all the steps we will read them again so two small spheres are fixed to the ends of suspended light road okay what do they mean by the light road they mean that these masses are attached to this road and this road here is attached there is a mirror attached to this uh, thread and there is a light uh, uh, sh shine here on it shining on it okay so these two small spheres are attracted to two larger spheres by what by gravitational force so gravitational force exists between all masses and we can only see it or feel it when we have like very large mass that's why girls we brought a very large mass beside a very small mass in order to feel or uh, this attraction to see it so the gravitational force between mass the small one and the big one causes the road to what to rotate okay so here we have to add to rotate and the suspending thread and it's uh, attached mirror to rotate or to twist so a laser beam reflected from the mirror deflects uh, showing what when it deflects it changes direction the light it shows us the angle of rotation okay so this angle of rotation it makes us what um, able to find fg okay how you are not responsible how so but using the angle of rotation we can find fg so once fg is found and the masses are found distance is found what can we find we can find g okay so this how cavendish finds the value of g which is 6.673 times 10 to the power of negative 11 we have to memorize it then girls by using this okay by using this uh, value that he found uh, uh, the law is used again to find what the earth mass so Cavendish also he found the earth mass after finding the value of she okay so this is everything about Cavendish experiment you only have to know the description of it like this here we have a question if a gravity is universal and exists between all masses why isn't this force easily observed in everyday life 
For example, why don't we feel this force pulling us toward large buildings? What do you think? Okay, if we are near large buildings, so the building is very huge, right? So why we don't feel uh, like we are attracted to this building? So girls, again, see this force, what it is, the equation of it of is, of this force is G M1 M2 over R squared, right? Type. This G now, we got its value. It is 6.67 times 10 to the power of negative 11. Okay, if I want to write it in a decimal form, it is 0 0.000667. Okay, M1, M2 divided by R squared. So see, the G is very, very small. Okay, so this G number is, this G is very, very, very small. You can see its value here. So 6.7 times 10 to the power of negative 11. Okay, so in order to have big attraction or a force that we can really feel, okay, these masses or the product of these masses should be very what large because this number is very small. Okay, so the value of G is very, very small. So the force of gravity is always like negligible between things, between objects, unless either M1 or M2 or their product is really large number okay that's why we feel the attraction between us and the planet and the earth okay because when I multiply my mass with the mass of the earth this gives me what a very large number so even here when I multiply it with G I will still get what large force of attraction so I can feel it okay so this product should be large number in order to feel the gravitational force and for sure the objects should be very close to each other okay 